Wales Ales. Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to another Andy Does Ales and it's an exciting day for me today because uh, I've got a box. Now you might know the logo on there. Hmm, keep you guessing for a minute. I was watching the one minute beer review one minute beer review, Dan, and he had a beer from this and he, he highly recommended this brewery. So I thought I'll have a look at them. And there was a beer there that really caught my eye. So I'm hoping that it's inside here. There's, there's a what's it? Oh, scissors again. Dee, 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 dee. It's a big box. There's only four beers in it. Well, there you go. What we got? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That's the one I'm going to do now. Right. What else have we got in here? This is uh, Asvex Brewing Company from Liverpool. Um, I've got a Hell's Lager Docker's Umbrella. Hmm. Might be worth a try. You never know. There is also Electronic Butterfly, a pale ale. <laughs> uh, I like this kind of stuff. And also, what have we got here? Psychedelic Dragonfire, an IPA. 7.2% though. But, the one... No beer mat or anything. The one that I'm going to do, as you know, if you're watching the... Um, the channel regularly and if not why not I shall have words and I shall come round and break your toys if you don't the one I was interested in was um, well right let's, as you know I like music and beer and anything musically and beer related together works well for me all the trooper stuff of course uh, status quo did the pile driver and I think uh, was it Hobson's that did Dog of Two Heads uh, a beer? Uh, a very sort of, sort of beers like that that I've had over the past. And I'm always looking out for beers that are music related. This one caught my eye because I, like, I like the heavy metal. You know, I like the rock stuff. This is an India Pale Ale. And it's 6.66%, which gives you a clue as to what's going on. And it's called Unreadable Metal Logos. Now you see the likes of Bloodstock and the like, you know, all these heavy metal festivals and they're all like that. Now what does that say? I don't know. Uh, there's two on the side there. No idea. Uh, you get the gist, don't you? <laughs> Unreadable Metal Logos from Asvex Brewing Company in Liverpool. 6.66% though. <laughs> oh yes. Um, and also... In relation to that, in the latest beer magazine from Camera, we have heavy metal drinking. So there's there's a few there that I'm going to have a look at or find. So if you know of any other as you, uh, brews that I might enjoy, you know, write them in the comments and I'll, I'll look out for them. And as you know, of course, me being a band called Out of Order, we've got a black IPA called out of order because it's black and pale which is out of order you see where i'm getting from jumping on the bang wagon <clears throat> so unreadable metal logos an india pale ale is it going to be an undrinkable ale let's crack it open and have a look before i start waffling too much here we go ipa 6.66 percent i don't know how they get it that accurate but i like it it's good. It's a hazy, so it's coming out sort of yellow, orange juice. Um, but I can smell it from here, and it smells brilliant. Unreadable metal logos. Can you see that? Just about. Yeah. See, there you go. Right, it's orange juice. Isn't it? For me to enjoy it properly, it's got to look like a beer, Astrex. Some of the other ones are like it it's very 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 citrusy that is a that is a massive citrus hit that is wow 
But anyway, here goes to everything that's unreadable. Now, I'm not a fan of orange juice. I, you can get the alcoholic hit with that. That is, that is powerful stuff. But it doesn't taste like a beer. I'm getting a very, very bitter orangey back taste. The I mean, it's juicy. Dan would like it on, on one minute beer reviews. Now, check him out on TikTok. He knows his stuff and he likes this kind of stuff. I don't. You say, but I'm willing to try it for research purposes, of course. And of course, you know, when you've got, uh, you know, even a tenuous musical connection, then, you know, I'm happy. But this is not for me. It's too juicy, too orangey, not beery enough and quite bitter so you know i don't mind taking him up for the team there's i'm going to be an odd beer that i don't like especially if vic buys it but there you go there you go that, that's different i've inflicted this on myself so it's, it's <laughs> i've got one for me vic <laughs> um it's not my kind of beer i probably wouldn't have it again but you know that's the chance you take sometimes isn't it Asvex Brewery uh, in Liverpool. Where are they? Yeah, definitely. Gibraltar Row. There you go. 6.6. .6, but I do like, I, I like the can. I like the way they've done that. 6.66%. And, you know, that's that's cracking. <coughs> Pardon me. Does make you burp. Does the job. <coughs> All you need. I will crack on with it. <coughs> um, but I'll tell you, I won't enjoy it. Sorry, Elsvex. Whoops. <laughs> um, again, if you know of any beers that have musical connotations or are uh, like the Trooper beers, I can't think of the word now, you know, recommended by a band or done by a band, then please let me know and I'll look out for them and see if we can find them. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Nice to see you. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and all that malarkey. We do like it over here at TLC Towers. That's Tower Lloyd Cole's Towers to everybody else. And as Vex, thanks very much. But for this one, no thanks. I'll try your others quite happily. We'll see what you make of them. Take care, everybody. And we'll see you all very, very soon indeed.